Hi everyone and welcome to review week finale. Um, yeah, today I'm going to be reviewing all the things NYX. So yeah, um, I will have a blog post with swatches and all that. I just, this is like the third or fourth time I am filming this. I just finished doing all the swatches and taking pictures for the blog and I somehow deleted the video of me saying what I have and if I like it or not. So I'm going to do this really, really quick. Um, I'm just going to show you the product, tell you what I think about it, and if you should buy it or not. So the first product I'm going to be talking about is the blushes. I have three. I have them in the shades Pinky, Bourgeois Pig, which are very, very similar. Um, on the blog, you can tell that um, pinky, um, it shows up darker, I think, in the swatch, but when you look at it in the pan, it does look lighter. Um, the Bourgeois Pig is just a little bit more orange or red or something. Like, here you can tell really well that this one, which is Bourgeois Pig, is a little bit darker. And then the last one I have, which is really good for fall and winter, um, and it's the color Desert Rose. So super gorgeous. So that is all of them. The blushes, they're very, very creamy, highly pigmented, but yet not too pigmented. Like, um, when I put my blush on, I lightly swirl it in there, put a little lot, and then I just do that a couple times because I want to slowly build the color up. But yeah, so I really like them and would definitely suggest them. Next, I have two of their eyeshadow trios. Um, the first one is in the shade, or the color or I don't know it's voodoo love spells um when I first got this I didn't like it um because I got it and I swatched it right away like I always do with pretty much anything I buy online um and it just wasn't that pigmented but after I used it a couple times and got like a little bit deeper and off like got rid of the top layer um it's very like creamy and pigmented um the last two shades this brown and the charcoal color they're matte so that also um matte eyeshadows if you don't know are generally a lot less pigmented and then the um other one i have is an en fuego or something like that looks like this super gorgeous um the swatch is so pretty i have swatches on my blog like i said and i don't know if i actually opened this and showed you this one but this is the voodoo love spells um they're amazing this one is more shimmery as you could see like you can just kind of tell that they're like more shimmery and that also makes means that they're a little bit more pigmented um i haven't used this yet i just got it a couple days ago and i haven't had the chance to actually like put it on my eyes but i've swatched it and it's so pretty and i really like it so um their eyeshadows i would definitely also suggest um Next thing I have, sorry, I have my purse on my shoulder. I was just about to go upstairs. Um, next thing I have is my Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. This is super, super creamy and pigmented. It glides right on. It's great for a, just a nice base if you're doing a colorful eyeshadow look, and I would really suggest it if you like to wear a lot of color. Um, next thing is lipstick. Um, I've had two lipsticks. The first one, I literally hated it so much, I threw it away. Um, it was one of their black label lipsticks, and I think it was called Ch Chakra, or Chakra. It's like C-H-A-K-R-A, or like C-H-A-R-K. It's one of those two. Um, it just didn't it just did not look good on me. It like settled into like the lines of my lips. Like My lips were like like perfectly smooth they weren't chapped at all like I exfoliated them like I exfoliate my lips like all the time and then I had like my lips just weren't chapped and like how you just like naturally have like lines in your lips like that was like it just settled into the little lines and it was it just didn't look good but this one I do really like the only thing I don't like about it is that the color isn't like dead on to what you see which is really sad and disappointing because I really like this color but just when you like swatch it it's just a little bit lighter than what you would think um 
but yeah, so I will have like up close swatches on my blog, like I said. But lipsticks, um, definitely if you're buying online, be very careful and like look at the reviews if there are any. And if there aren't any on like the website you're on, then try and find it, another review or like a blog post about it or like a YouTube review because like sometimes like no matter what you're buying online, the sizing, like if you're buying clothes, it might be a little off, it might be a little bit, like run a little small or run a little big. So like certain things like that, definitely just be wary of. I've noticed that mainly with the lipsticks. Um, So yeah, definitely. Also, if you can go to like, I don't know if Ulta sells next, I don't have an Ulta near me, so I don't really know. But if you can like swatch it, then definitely do that. So yeah, just lipsticks. I really do like them though. Um, this one is in the shade Hero, by the way. I really like it, and I will definitely be wearing it a lot. And then the last thing I have is their butter glosses. Um, I bought these in a set of three, which it came with creme brulee, apple strudel, and meringue. And that was the set, which looks like this. And I have swatches of all of these. Um, and then the other three I have is eclair peaches and cream and then vanilla cream pie so these two are definitely like my two favorites the vanilla cream pie this is actually eclair and then this one is vanilla cream pie um they're just that natural pinky tone that i wear a lot so yeah um butter glosses i love them they're really really nice um are they worth the hype of them being like the drugstores best um sorry there was like a hair on the lens um the best drugstore um lip gloss i'm not quite sure i don't wear a ton of lip gloss so i don't think i'm like able to like say without a doubt these are the best lip glosses that you'll find in like a drugstore or like drugstore price range but i really do like them um so yeah that is my overall review of like all the nyx products i have i hope this was helpful um i even though I filmed this three times, I enjoyed it, <laughs> filming this for you guys. And yeah, I hope it kind of gave you an insight on what you may or may not like through NYX. Um, so yeah, I am really, I really hope you enjoy. Um, and also, two little quick announcements, or little questions. Um, I ordered my julep by Mauve, I don't know how to say it, but like my julep box and... Um, like a few days ago when it got here today um, and if you don't know what Julep is it's a monthly subscription box for $19.99 and you've got two nail polishes and another um, beauty product and then they give you a like random product so you get three things um, sometimes there will be three nail polishes but you without a doubt always get at least two nail polishes I ordered mine and I got three nail polishes and then I bought an extra nail polish and I wasn't sure what I wanted so I just like mystery polish which you can do which is really cool and if you add any extra to your box it's own it's like a quarter or so of the price because normally their um nail polishes are like like 12 to 15 dollars um depends I don't really know why but it's like one of those prices something like that I don't know but then if you add it to your box it's only $4.99 extra so I do like that about that but um if you I haven't tried anything on my nails yet my nails are clean so if I want to do that video so if you would like to see a video on my first impressions and if it's worth it and just what I think about the actual nail polish um comment down below telling me that and also, I have my purse on in part of this video, um, I got a new purse. So if you'd like to see a updated what's in my bag tag sort of thing, um, definitely comment down below and tell me so. So if you would like to see swatches and all that um, of all these products, um, link to my blog is down below and you can find that. It should be like the top post on there. So yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys later. Bye guys!